So for today, we're going to be looking at the Titans new ornaments for Season of the Deep. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the ornaments that the classes got. For this one, it's going to be the Titans. Hunters, you already got yours. It's right here. Check it out. Some definitely cool sets that I've made. And I think those are probably some of the better ornaments that we got this season because I think the Titans only got one good one. And the Warlocks, I think, also got one good one. So let me know what you guys think. Appreciate you guys. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at Chivalry's Chill. This is the ornament for the Cadmus Ridge Lance Cap. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't think we needed an ornament for this. To be fair, it does look pretty cool. My only gripe about it is I wish the ice didn't protrude through the mat, through the helmet. I, I wish the helmet actually stayed intact and then the ice crystals would be coming out of the eyes and then any other like hole because i just don't like it I, I i like i think it looks cool but i would have preferred if the mask stayed intact and then ice coming out from the bottom i think that would have been way better because it does look like an ice beard but it also kind of just takes away from the actual cool mask that we could have gotten so that helmet could have been really cool it's just unfortunate that they went with the direction that they went with as for how it shaders i think it shaders pretty well the only unfortunate part again is the fact that their crystals won't change color um and it's not even like the the regular Cadmus Ridge Lance Cap, whatever it's called. I'm just gonna call it the Ridge, the Lance Cap. Uh, unfortunately, the Lance, or fortunately, the Lance Cap actually does change the crystal coloring. It doesn't change it too much, but it does change quite a bit of it, considering that Cryptic Insignia actually changes it into a lighter teal. This one doesn't change it at all, so just be aware of that. As for the example set, I ended up going for a night look because the helmet is clearly nightish in in nature i just kind of wish we had a little bit more of that because it's more of a european night than anything else so i my choices probably are not the best here but you'll see why i chose the pieces that i chose so for the gauntlets of the great hunt is what i'm using i like these gauntlets i do think these are probably not the best one for this but i wanted to combine it with the unyielding favor plate because the unyielding favor plate has these blue crystals on the chest piece that I just wanted to combine it with the helmet because blue, blue, obviously it matches and the gauntlets of the great hunt go really well with the unyielding favor because well, it makes sense considering they're both dreaming city or not dreaming city, but they're both awoken themed. And I just, it just kind of made sense to combine those two. And it does look really cool for the boots. Gensem night Greaves is what I'm using in combination with the virtuous Mark. I think this is where I messed up. I think, I could have used something a little bit better than the gems and knights. I probably could have used the year one crucible boots. I think those would have been a little bit better just because those are a little bit more European themed. And for the virtuous mark, I probably could have used something else. Probably, probably one with just a dick cloth. I think that would have been a little bit better, but I do think I messed up by not using any of the pieces from the Fortnite set because that's clearly, um, like European set. So I do think I messed up there, but I still think it looks really cool. I think I would just switch out the gauntlets of the great hunt for probably the, the, uh, Fortnite armor, just because that one does look really, really, uh, European. So let me know what you guys think about this first one. Again, I think this is fine as a starter, but I would actually start tweaking it a little bit more here and there. As for the next set, it is going to be the Anchorage ornament for the point contact cannon brace. These are cool. These are really, really cool. And funnily enough, we got another arm exotic that has that has a scorned theme, which is pretty funny. The other one obviously being Kaiden's ramparts. So for this one, I actually like this one quite a bit more just because it is a little bit more thin, which means you can combine it with some more thin pieces if you want. But I also think it looks way cooler. I think like thematically it looks super cool you see the like the shoulder pads i think are really cool and the electricity is super dope as well this whole piece reminds me of the the forsaken strike that we had where we had to kill that one scorn the really big one i forget what it's called but it reminds me of that strike specifically and i think that's a good thing because most of the time ornaments are just like this is really cool it has nothing to do with the game but this one's like man that's this reminds me of that strike from forsaken which is super wild to me so as for how it shaders i think it shaders really really well like surprisingly well uh and i mean that like as a compliment because i was not expecting this to shader this well a lot of the pieces are just shading how i want them to be and when i when i say that most of the time i mean that nothing is unshaderable 
no there's no off colors it just all the colors that i see on for example cryptic insignia i see all of the colors there so that's what i really mean like for example echoed anger usually has like an off color that i really don't like which is a brown i don't see that brown here i do see a white on the like the face on the hand but other than that it looks really really good as for the example set i ended up going for a scorned slash junk yard look i don't even know how to explain this one for the helmet chem flesh helm is what i'm using just because it goes well with all of the ramshackled shit that i have so the scorn baron plate obviously because we're using anchorage this is where i messed up i think the scorn pl baron plate is a little too big and it makes it look too heavy for the arms so i would probably just switch out the scorn baron plate for something else or if you want, you can just use the Kaiden Ramparts ornament for this and it will look really, really cool. Again, I just think the Scorn Baron plate just looks a little too heavy for the set that I made. Catch Killer's Greaves looks really, really cool with the Scorn plate, Baron plate, which is why I'm using it. And then Iron Foreigner Mark because the barnacles on the side really make it look like combines all of this to seem like, oh, okay, this dude's like clearly in the junkyard like all the time. And then for the shader, Raven Silk is another great shader for this because it's just it, it combines everything there's a lot of like desaturated colors in there there's browns in there that i actually really like and overall i really like this set again like i said i would only switch out the chest piece for something else because i think the boots are completely fine the, granted it might look a little bigger than the chest piece but i would probably again this would be another one that i would tweak more but overall i like where my head's going for this one because i like a lot of the pieces i will say I would probably switch the helmet out for something else, or I would probably just switch the helmet out for another of the chem flesh piece. Probably the chest piece. Maybe I don't remember how it looks off the top of my head, but I would probably switch that out. And for the helmet, I probably would find something that looks a little bit more junkyard or end up using the what's it called? The armor, the uh, these not scorn, but it's like the, the the other fallen armor piece for the classes that we got when forsaken came out the world drop armor the one where we basically look like we're going through the junkyard because that one the titans got like some really cool fallen pieces so i would probably end up using that but yeah let me know what you guys think titans i think you guys got some really cool ones granted the helmet's not my favorite to use in general and the ornaments like also design wise not what i would have gone with but the arms the anchorage i think that one's fucking cool and people have been using it a lot more because it did get a buff so that is really cool just unfortunate that in the eyes of a lot of people it's still garbage which to be fair it's granted because it did come out and it was just completely trash so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later